Hi, welcome back. Dynamics lesson number three Motion of pulleys. The figure shows a pulley arrangement with a fixed pulley A and a moving pulley B. Fixed pulley A and a moving pulley B. One end of a string passing over pulley A is connected to a particle P of weight 5 mg and the other end is connected to the moving pulley B of weight 3 mg. There's a string going over pulley A. It's connected to a particle P here with a weight 5 mg and the other end is connected to a moving pulley B of weight 3 mg. The two ends of another string passing over the moving pulley B is attached to a particle Q of weight 2 mg and another particle capital R of weight mg respectively. There's another string going over the pulley B is connected to particle Q which has a weight of 2 mg and this another particle capital R with a weight mg. Assume that the strings are light and in extensible, calculate the acceleration of the particle P. So we need to find out the acceleration of particle P. In this diagram, we indicate it as F1. That's acceleration of F1 of this particle going upwards. And the, this string is connected to particle uh, the pulley B here. Therefore, the acceleration of the pulley B is simple F1 downwards. Same acceleration should be available here because the same string here. And then if you take uh, this pulley system where if the string is going in the uh, clockwise anti-clockwise direction because 2mg is the heavier weight so it should rotate this way. And in this particular uh, first case we can see that it, it is connected rotating in the clockwise direction because this is 5 mg 3 plus 2 plus 1 this is about 6 mg so therefore it should rotate this way clockwise direction and this, this is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction so if you take the rotation of this pulley the the acceleration of this string respect with respect to this pulley is f2 upwards then this particle will accelerate upward at a velocity f2 minus f1 because this pulley is coming down at an acceleration of f1 and therefore the relative acceleration to the earth is f2 f2 is relative to the pulley and f2 minus f1 will give you the acceleration of this particle capital R and then similarly if you look at this particle here which is going downwards at an acceleration of f2 with respect to this pulley and this pulley is also moving at an acceleration of f1 therefore the total acceleration the resultant acceleration with respect to the earth is f1 plus f2 because both accelerations are in the same direction but in this case f2 is upwards f1 is downwards therefore it should be f2 minus f1 okay so now we know the accelerations and also the uh, the tensions T1 if the tension T is T1 here the same tension should be available in the side of the string because we have to assume this is a smooth pulley and here also T2 is a tension of this string here and the tension at this side of the string also T2 now we have this diagram what we are going to do here is to apply the P equal to MF, force equal to mass time acceleration for various positions of the pulley system. There are four uh, uh, positions that we are going to consider here. First one is the P here. Second one is the B here, the pulley, a moving pulley, and we can consider Q as well as R. There are four positions that we are going to apply P equal to MF. First, we'll apply for the first point P point P and at that point this this particle is moving upwards at an acceleration of F1 
and the forces are T1 is pulling force of this object, this particle, upward T1 and minus 5 mg is opposite direction, uh, force in the opposite direction which is the weight of the pulley, weight of the particle 5 mg equal to mf the mass of this particle is 5m times the acceleration f1 simple f1 that's the p equal to mf equation for this particle okay now we are going to apply p equal to mf to this moving pulley b in the direction in in the downward direction for pulley b and for this pulley b there are three forces acting on this pulley in, in fact there are four forces two forces equal to t2 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 therefore we write 2 t2 which is in the downward direction so it's positive we are applying it in the p in the downward direction so t2 2 t2 is positive plus 3 mg positive minus t1 pulling force of t1 going upwards minus t1 these are three these are the four forces acting on this pulley b equal to mf the motion uh, the mass of this pulley is 3m times f1 is the acceleration of this pulley with respect to the earth and now we can apply p equal to mf to this particle q here so q again the force downwards is 2mg minus tension t2 because we are applying it in the downward direction so 2mg is positive minus t2 equal to mf the mass of this one is 2m and the acceleration of this one is f1 plus f2 and then we have the last particle capital R here and we apply P equal to mf in the vertically upward direction so then the forces t2 is positive going upwards and minus mg is the weight equal to mf the mass times the acceleration f2 minus f1 is the acceleration so now we have four equations and we can get rid of the tensions by adding all this equation basically we need to simplify the above four equations to get the to get two equations without the tensions basically we can get this equation please try to see whether you can get this answer here uh, to get this one uh, I think what we can do is we can add this one to this one and then the t1 will cancel off and then this one take away this one minus t2 and if you take away this one minus t2 2 minus 2 t2 if you apply if you add this to this to this and take away this one we can get rid of t1 and also we can get rid of 2 t2 please see whether you can get this answer and then after that we can get rid of t t2 uh, t1 in one of these actually you can get rid of t2 in this equation to get this equation so basically we get two equations with two unknowns so after simplifying these two equations we can find out f1 f1 equal to 1 over 16 times g that is the acceleration of particle p f1 is the acceleration of particle p so in this question we are not uh, uh, finding any other value but if you want to calculate the tension or the acceleration of particle r or q can be found basically what you need to do is substitute this value in this respective equation to find out the acceleration of this one basically you can find f2 by applying it here then you can find the acceleration of this particle as well as the tensions after applying it in any of these equations